This black man was murdered yesterday. Let's call it what it is. It's murder. There's no excuse for it. And I'm going to tell you why. If there's DNA evidence that contradicts what prosecutors asserted that led to a conviction, that's a valid point to stay in execution. If the prosecutor himself, herself, themselves, acknowledge that based on evidence that can now be refuted, there should be a stay of execution. That's another reason not to execute the man. Governor Parsons is ignoring a ruling by the Supreme Court, the state Supreme Court from nine years ago. He's ignoring a ruling by his predecessor from seven years ago. He's ignoring prosecutors. He's ignoring DNA evidence. And on top of it all, the victim's family didn't want him executed. All right, guys. Coming back to you with the quick video. Uh, this is probably going to be my last video on the whole Marcellus Williams thing. I don't, I don't want to keep it, keep it going. You know, the decision was made. You know, I feel like an innocent man lost his life two days ago. Um, I feel like Missouri made a huge mistake. I feel like Governor Parsons could have stepped in and halted that man's execution. And this is the thing that, that makes me have mixed emotions, mixed feelings about the death penalty. You know, you got people that wasn't even originally part of the case saying, hey, we're going to go ahead and move forward with the, the execution. You got victim's family, uh, prosecutors, attorneys, judge saying, hey, let's not uh, move forward with this execution. Let's, let's you know, let's, let's let this man stay in prison for the rest of his life, which is a great option, especially that, you know, you're not 100% sure that this guy took that lady's life. You know, DNA evidence didn't come back to him. Footprint, bloody footprint on the on the scene didn't come back to him hair follicles that they found on scene didn't come back to come back to Marcellus only thing he's guilty of is having possession is her husband's laptop and some of her belongings which some of the belongings came the laptop for a fact they're saying came from his girlfriend but my thing is this if you guys knew had all this had all this this evidence that he was he was guilty. Why did you and his cellmate didn't come forward until there was reward money being offered up by her husband, Miss uh, Felicia Gill? Now, before I continue, I want to first, be foremost, before anything is, you know, condolences to her. Sorry that our family had had to relive through this or go through this all over again. Sorry that Mr. Williams' family got to go through this. This is a this is a lose lose situation. You know, Miss Gale's family had to go through this whole process all over again, seeing it on the news and being constantly reminded that they lost a loved one. And then you had Mr. Marcellus, his family, losing him and never going to see him again. So in this situation, there's no winners. The only people that, in my opinion, is probably winning or celebrating a victory is the judges and Governor Parsons. You know, I I just don't know what to say. I feel like, like I said, I feel like the state of Missouri let this man down. They executed the wrong person. They executed an innocent man. But when you have prosecutors, the family, judges, the jury, and other individuals fighting for this man's freedom, saying, hey, you know what? And they're not even fighting for his freedom. They're just fighting to abort his execution. You know, and it's just crazy to me, you know, you have serial killers that are in prison right now that killed multiple people serving life sentences. Like, I'm in Missouri, so, like, state west of me is Kansas, and there was a famous serial killer by the name of uh, Dennis Radier, went by the BTK killer. He killed women from the 70s all the way through the 90s. And that man 100% is guilty. He didn't even fight the allegations that were brought up against him in court. But yet somehow, Kansas doesn't agree with the death penalty. And this man is living the rest of his days 
till he passed away because he's not going to ever be executed. Uh, Kansas hasn't executed anyone since 1965, if I'm not mistaken. But Missouri, I think Mr. Williams is the third person that's been executed in the state since the beginning of the year. You know, when you got evidence against someone and without a shadow of a doubt, you know somebody's guilty. I'm all for moving forward with the, you know, with death penalty or executing proceedings or whatever you want to call it. But when you have somebody, if there's even just a doubt that that person just might be innocent, that's when I feel like death penalty need to be kind of bagged up a little bit. Cause the thing about it is, once once you inject that that lethal dose or you put that gas in that person or whatever, you can't bring them back, and that's it. So if later on down down the road, years later. You found out you screwed up and you made the wrong decision. You can't take that back, you know. So I feel like people that that are not associated with the case, when you have someone that's constantly going through legal proceedings and and re having their cases retried because there's a possibility that they may be innocent, I feel like that your life shouldn't come down to people that have nothing to do with the case from the get go. Governor Parsons wasn't there. So how can he say, you know, nah, I'm not going, I'm not going to pardon this guy. I mean, I mean, I'm not going to exonerate this guy from, uh, from being executed. He could easily sit and gave him, yeah, let's 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 hold on. Let's not, let's not move forward with his execution. You know, even then, you know, like they said, 2023, Parsons was like, hey, that group that, uh. The previous governor, Eric Greitens, had set up with the judges that were going over the case again and make sure there wasn't anything they were missing out. They spent years on it. So obviously, and they never came up with an actual decision. So they spent that much time on, on looking over his case and they couldn't come to agreement. Possibility wasn't there that he should have been executed. But Governor Parsons being Governor Parsons, he don't have too many fan, fans in Missouri. Went ahead and said, let's disband this group. We spent too much time on this. Stop wasting the time and let's get through with this and let's go ahead and execute this guy. But I don't know. I was uh, reading what somebody put in the comments and they was like, if later on down the road someone determines or people are associated with this man dying, and it's later determined that they made a mistake. Should they fa face or should they face consequences? And I hundred percent agree. Yeah, there should be some consequences being faced if you convict a man and you have this man's life taken away and then later on you find out he he was innocent. Like I said, once that man's gone, once you agree to move forward with that execution, ain't no bringing him back. Um do wanna say Again, you know, the family of Miss Felicia Gill. I pray you guys have closure. I hope her spirit is at rest and you guys don't have to deal with this no more. Uh, Mr. Williams' family, you don't have to deal with this anymore. Hope his, his spirit is at rest. You know, God seen his, his final final statement, final letter. And he said more praises to our lives. So hopefully he was there mentally. Um, but how... How do you mentally prepare yourself to, to be have your life taken? You know, I don't even think I could even have a final meal if it was me. So I don't, it's just a crazy situation. But uh appreciate you guys tuning in with me throughout this whole process. You know, I only I'm I'm only a few videos in. Um you know at the beginning I did say if, if this is gonna be my last video, but some do pop up. You know, something very important pop up. You, you, you guarantee you're going to see another video for sure. Um, but if you like like the video, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more content. Leave all you guys' opinions down, down below in the comment section. Because I, I go through every last one of them and I respond to all of them that, that I can. Whether it's negative or positive. You know, everybody has their own opinion. Just like I have my opinion. And, you know, I'm not... I'm, you know, I'm all for having a, a friendly conversation and down in the comments. So 
Um, also, my email is on there as well. Uh, my contact email is on my YouTube. If you guys have any other stories or any anything kind of similar to this that you know that's going on, uh, send it to my inbox, and I will gladly do a video on it and and speak out on it. But again, hit the subscribe button, share this with your friends, your families, your loved ones. Leave a comment below. Until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Peace.